Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. And in this episode, Phantom and Ivor will be exploring the blockade that is blocking any of the residents of Angel Falls from moving from place to place. So without further ado, it is time to get into it. And now you also see how the enemy placement kind of works. So as you can see, um, you just get random, random enemies just lying around. Of course, they just attack the slime. Start off nice and weak, but you know. There you go, medicinal herb, lovely. So there's a vet, there is a, well, the first side quest is for the cruel cumbers. But anyway, dun, 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 dun. so you got some sack squatches. Isn't that lovely? See, it doesn't have any battle spells yet. So he's just an auto character. But you know. Critical hits. That should get me some nice experience. Du -du -du -du. There we go. Du -du 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 -du. Boing. Boing. Sit down. Zip damage times one, two percent. Oh, come on, you can't let a slime deal that much damage here. Come on, man. Boom. Down you go. Lovely. Hello there. I forgot what these are called, but you know. A teeny sanguini. Oh, you missed. Isn't that a shame? Goodbye. Probably on the verge of the level up, but you know. I was going to try and rush up on you then, but never mind. But the teeny sanguine... Oh, no, it, it didn't notice. I thought I was going to try and get a preemptive, to be honest. It's not called a preemptive here, but you know. Goodbye. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, there is no world map saves um, in Dragon Quest games um, because you can only save in the churches anyway. Phantom reads the sign this way to the pass. Don't actually remember what's down here to be honest. There's some cruel cumbers. Let's leave them alone for now. What do I want to? I don't know. Do 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 do. This is a later dungeon, right? Or is it? Yeah, that's a that's a later dungeon, the hexagon. Let's. Let's just you know get out of here. This might be the next one, and I think after that you've got like this. Another weird temple-like dungeon. Um, anyway, I might just do a few battles, go to heal up, and then come back once I've beefed up a bit. And a bodkin. Ow. I guess I can get rid of the teeny sanguini. Ow. That, that hurts quite a bit. How much experience? 13. There we go. 
That's what we wanted. Learn a new spell, heal. Mm, there's no point to do it to Ivor. There's no need. Anyway, of course, yep. Doing stuff like that does not protect you. You know, yeah, do, doing a few battles for now, you know, it's, it's fair. Probably won't be able to level up again now, though. That's unlikely. Anyway, there we go. I know, I don't actually remember if there's anything down below, but you know. So yeah, I think you do get a side quest to face a cruel cumber eventually, but obviously, because it's the beginning of the game, I'm not going to rush, because I might need to get a few uh, level ups, but you know. I mean, I don't even have to be doing this yet, not really. Um, but I just feel like I have to do it. Anyway, there's some teeny sanguinis. Well, just one, but you know. I don't actually remember if there's anything up here, because I think you do get, like, treasures in the map. Every now and then, uh, yeah. Phantom's getting nice and powerful now. Which just sets him up perfectly. And then let's face this annoying butterfly enemy. Just get the Bisteri up. The Butterfly. So, obviously, if you've played other Dragon Quest games, you might recognise these enemies. You know, Ivor's pretty useless at the moment, but you know, Phantom's got nice beefy defense now. There we go. There we go, nice. There's nothing there which you thought there probably could have been, but you know. Probably very close to defeating him there, but you know. Not even doing that much to uh, Phantom now. I mean, I technically could actually go over to the wreckage now. I could probably. Oh, I, sh I would be able to get away with it at this rate, to be honest. Let's leave battles now. I mean, if I still run into him like that, I'll do him, but, you know. So, yeah, set characters like Ivor don't level up. But, you know, it's just the way it is. Find anything that I haven't got in the beast area yet. I'll fight it, but until then. Do 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 do. So yeah, there's also a cave um northwest of here. Um you probably can't actually see yet, but you know. Anyway, get rid of the sax watch. Lovely, there we go. A medicinal herb, lovely. So obviously that's just for if you need to heal up. Patch you up. I would air punch, but there's no point. Oh no, teeny sanguine is coming. Why are you still faster? Whatever. Oh, damn. Critical hit. I kind of feel sorry for you, but I don't. Oh, you missed. What a shame. Not leveled up yet? Fair enough. So you want to go over to this blockade. So I think you do the hexagon and the cave after this, and then you're... I've probably leveled up enough now. I don't know, but anyway... I might get to level 5 first, I don't know. But you know. I mean, when you when you get to one-shot enemies at this point in the game, you know, 
time to time to stop. But you know, let's go. We are here now. Finally, we're here at last. The landslide's somewhere in these woods, apparently. I think you get the first boss in that hexagon place as well, but anyway, look what it is. It's the train. What are you staring at? It's just a fallen tree. I don't get what's so fascinating about it. You can be probably weird sometimes, you know that. So, as you can see, he can obviously see that... Oh, every, I'll call it Phantom Train, whatever. <laughs> Obviously the one that delivers the souls, and then it crashed at the Yggdrasil tree. Yeah, they can't see it. The land, this, the landslide's this way, I'll go on ahead. So there aren't any enemies in this dungeon. So, you know. But yeah, I, like, thinking of this, obviously, I might have to grind eventually. I don't actually remember the points where you might have to grind, to be honest. But anyway, I should probably get that ring equipped. I mean, if it boosts up the fence, you know me. Obviously, he's just got the celestial gear on because you know, yeah. Door shut tight, and there's no way to open it. So yes, you can't actually go in it either. That was weird, it was almost as if I could see the Starflight Express. Phantom Redesign. A head lies Stornway, which we can't get to yet, but you know. Here he is. This is worse than I thought. Is this it? But it's so much bigger than I thought. You and I will never be able to shift this on your own. Stupid landslide. And I was all ready to see the look on Dad's face when I came back to the village of Hero. Wah! Wow. Hello, is someone there? Hello, if you're there, say something. Ah, it sounds like there's someone on the other side. Hey, I'm over here, it's me, Ivor from Angel Falls. No doubt you've heard of me. Jing, someone from Angel Falls. We're soldiers sent from Stornway. King Scott sent us to clear the landslide. Blimey, the King of Stormway must really rate Angel Fools to bother helping us out like that. I suppose that means we're not really needed here then. Huh, now I wish we hadn't bothered coming all this way. Wait, there's an urgent matter we need to ask you about. Do you happen to know if a lass called Patty made her way to your village just after the earthquake? She works at the Inn in Stormway, but she took off the day for An one day for Angel Fools, and we've heard nothing of her since. Patty, nope, doesn't ring any bells. Why would she want to come to Angel Fools anyway? Aye, well, rumour has it that she was on her way there through the hexagon. The path beat there has been blocked too, though, so we've no way of finding out where she is. The hexagon? That old room we used to have to go tra traipsing all the way through before this pass was built? No one goes there anymore. It's jam-packed with monsters and falling apart so badly it might come down on your head. There's no way a woman would go there alone. The rumours must be wrong. Alright, well, perhaps you could just relay... relay to your village and the fact that the road will be open again soon and if you could ask around about patty while you're at it that would be grand no problemo just leave it to me you can always count on ivor come on phantom home time i reckon they'll be pretty pleased to hear the news but you know you got you got to think will they be annoyed that they snuck out on their own um or will they praise phantom and ivor and Phantom for carrying Ivor, because let's just face it, Phantom's dealing, what, 10, 12 damage? Ivor was dealing 6 at best. Yeah, pretty pathetic, if you ask me. So they probably don't expect you to actually even be level 4 yet with Phantom. I mean, they might expect you to actually go around doing battles, but you know. It's not a necessity at this point, but you know. Anyway, you do get the, I think, the beast area here, right? I don't remember, to be honest. Maybe not. So yeah, you've got the hexagon in that cave up above. I'll face a cruel kyombo, thank you very much. Do-do-do-do-do.
You're gonna die now anyway. Goodbye. Nothing yet. Fair enough. Gotta get a level up soon, surely. Goodbye. Not yet either. Fair enough. I like how the scenery does change after every battle though, that's a nice touch. I've got to point out. Well, you know, obviously I've only just started doing battles like this, but you know. Oh, look at that, the one shot. Do -do 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 -do. Right, that's what I wanted. Allocating skill points. Use the skill points you earn to increase party members' skills and learn new spells, abilities, and traits. The allocate skill points command is now available in the MISC menu. You can allocate skill points. Yep. Hot lick block and spell. Probably do that and get dragon slash. That's a good ability to have for now. Attack plus 10 with swords. I mean, Phantom will be the one I'll be using all the swords for anyway. Swordsman awarded to Phantom. Yep, yep. So when you get the main, the other main characters, you do get stuff like that. But I mean, this game is going to be long. <laughs> Just to warn you. Um, but you know, I've one more battle. It's too stunned to me. It's so scared of Phantom. You might actually get enemies called Phantom later on. I don't remember though. I mean, I think you, I think you get mimics like mimics are infamous, and they're more infamous here than they are in Final Fantasy, to be honest. But anyway, here we go. Do 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 do. Let's rest. Are we not doing that? No. Don't remember. I think. Do you maybe do something? Don't remember, to be honest. Maybe we go over to the inn to go say hi. Maybe. Oh, that lag spike a bit. Let's rec let's record my adventures as well while I'm here. Why, hello there. It's our belief that there's a paradise high in the sky where all the guardians live. Unfortunately, it's not visible to us mere mortals. It's a great shame. Well, there was one, but it's got a bit wrecked now. But you know, the matter. Oh, blah 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 blah. Yep, yeah, I won't bother. Keep on saying that. Do 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 So I don't know how long I want to go for. I don't remember if the hexagon is the next dungeon or not, to be honest. I mean, if it is, I'll do it, but, you know. Do 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 here we go. Hello, Phantom. I know we haven't had any customers lately, but I have to be ready to welcome them just in case. What are you still doing hanging around with Ivor anyway? Surely you're fed up with him by now. You won't be bad mouthing me like that for much longer, you know. You'll see. He'll be thanking me before long. I better go and report to Dad. I'm off home now, Phantom. Well, never mind. Yep, there you go. It's Ivor's dad. All Ivor wants is his dad to be proud of him. But you know. I see, so the soldiers from Stornway should have the pass cleared for us before long. That's right, everyone will be so relieved to hear the news. Ivor saved the day, eh? Don't be ridiculous, you were foolish to go all the way out there. It's just the two of you, utterly foolish. But, but, why are you so angry? If we hadn't gone to the landslide, you'd never have known it was about to be cleared. So what, if I didn't know now, I'd have found out soon enough. Knowing a little bit sooner is hardly worth risking your life for. That's why I'm angry, that's why you're foolish. Ugh, fine, oh yeah. There was something else, something I heard from one of the soldiers. They want us to find some girl called Patty who went missing on her way here. Wait a minute, is that true? Erin, what are you doing here? 
What do you think? I'm here because I heard you whisked Phantom off on some silly adventure. Anyway, never mind that. Is it true that Patty from Stornway has gone missing? Ah, uh, yes, you're from Stornway originally, aren't you, Erin? Do you know the woman? I seem to remember my dad talking about someone called Patty from his days in Stormway. Oh dear, maybe she didn't know he'd passed away and she was coming here to see him. Hmm, well, I can understand everyone's concerns, but we can't very well send off a search party with no lead to go on. Actually, the soldier said something about how she might have been on her way here through the hexagon. Is that so? Well, even if that's the case, we still can't be of any help. The hexagon is far too dangerous nowadays. Erin, why don't you take Phantom home now? Try not to worry too much. I'd appreciate a bit of privacy so I can talk some sense to this to pig-headed son of mine. There's no need for that, Dad. I was so worried when I heard you'd left the village, Phantom. You seem to be unscathed, though. You're obviously a lot tougher than I thought. Speaking of which, um, I wonder if I could ask you a favour, Phantom. You see, I'm quite right about all this talk of Patty going missing. So I was wondering if you could... Oh, never mind. The hexagon is really far too dangerous. I couldn't possibly ask that much of you. I'm obviously worried about Patty when it's far too dangerous to go after the hexagon. Looking for her. All we can do is pray to the Almighty to keep her safe. Guardian Phantom, please watch over Patty and see what that she comes no harm. I am the Guardian. Do you not rest? Maybe you don't. I don't know. Do 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 do. Don't actually remember what you do now, to be honest. Do 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 Can I actually rest at the end? I'm guessing I can. Because there's no other place to rest, to be honest. Do 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 Nope, she's asleep. Do you know what this is? Yeah, oh, bugger off. You already said that before. Shut it, man. Shut it. Hi, Phantom. You wouldn't believe how much Dad's been on me since we got back. My head's about to burst, I can tell you. Um, excuse me, what do you think you're up to? I haven't finished with you yet. Not by a long shot. Sorry, Dad, I'm listening. Dad, I'm listening. What is it, Phantom? Can't you see I'm busy? Be off with you. Yeah, the, the mayor is quite an annoying douchebag, but you know. Whatever. Still, now my old stallion's got himself a bride. Hopefully it won't be long before I have time to follow suit. Isn't that nice? I know it's not really my place to say so, but thanks for looking out for Ivor. He has his faults, that's for sure, and he drives most of us insane after time, but I wouldn't wish any, him any ill. Of course you wouldn't. I guess I might as well save it. Don't you remember if you go to the cave over here, to be honest? Do 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 do. Oh, that lagged a bit. Doo -doo -doo. Well, you can't actually get here yet anyway, I don't think, can you? Make sure you have to go down here. A tangle web. A tangle web. And a tangle web. Sneak attack. Dim -ba -dim -ba -dim. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Goodbye. So you don't get any more experience just being on your own. It doesn't work like that. Um, but you know, anyway. 
So as you can see up here, there's no way to bridge the gap across from here. So you know, the gems just up here to collect the items really. Antidotal herb. Antidotal herb. Hello, cruel cumber. Do you go back over to here? I don't remember, to be honest. Maybe you go back over to the Starlight Express. I doubt you go back to the Hexagon yet, man. This doesn't seem like something you do, does it? No, still shut. Anyway, let's go. Don't fancy facing slimes, to be honest. So obviously places like Forest often um, include more battles in them, but you know. So yeah, apparently the hexagon has been blocked off. But you know, Phantom examines the statue, but he does find it particularly interesting. And then that lovely. Now I've got like medicinal herbs just in case I need to use them. But you know. Phantom reads the inscription, path head sealed due to enormous beast related fa fatalities. Yup. Remember he can see ghosts, because he's still kind of got his, some of his powers. So he went over to here, should have gone here first, clearly. But never mind. See, I'm pretty sure you should be able to rest up, but for some reason. You, know, you should be able to rest up at Erin's house, but you know. On the back of this statue. Of course it's on the back. Phantom sets the back of the statue, finds a button in the back of its neck, press the button. There's a noise of something moving somewhere. And I should be able to, um... Actually get out of here. Um, I'm gonna go try and rest up, but for some reason. There isn't really anywhere. Well, there should be. I should be able to heal up. As I said, I need to go back to Angel Falls and have a look. To be honest. I don't fancy going Stornway yet. To be honest. Goodbye. There should be a prompt on the bed or something, but I don't know. Wow, look at that. Absolutely pathetic. Should be ashamed in yourself. Twice you missed. Disgusting. They always drop something to the slimes. I know, I just want to fully heal and get all my MP back just because MP will pay off, especially with the boss. Did you know that the water from these falls is famous? It's called Angel's Tears. Drinking it makes you strong, strong enough to fight off any illness you can think of, and it's delicious to boot. Alright, yeah, that's how you heal up. Of course it is. I wonder what that big shiny thing I saw falling from the sky over the past was. It was really big, so it would have been an awful lot of damage if it was an asteroid or something. Do, 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 do. 
Welcome to the Fish Shop, how can I help you today? I didn't mean to do that, but never mind. Did you know that the contents of pots and barrels and cupboards aren't always the same? If you found something somewhere once, check back a while later and you might just find something new. Not that it's ever anything really amazing, of course. Probably best not to get too obsessed with looking. I mean, stuff like a bit of money and antidotes and stuff could go a long way, but you know. No need to growl at me, is there? They say a woman called Patty was on her way here from Stormway when she went missing. She must have had some urgent business to be travelling about on her own at a time like this. You'd think, wouldn't you? She must be a feisty one, though, not even taking anyone along with her. Either that or she's about 10 feet tall and built like a boss troll. Not like that's going to be a boss at all. Like, at all. It's not going to happen, is it? No. You want to know, blah, blah, blah. See, up the hexagon is where you go, anyway. Clearly you don't heal up like that. But anyway... Yeah, there we go, that's what I wanted. So as I said, I think you face the first boss. In the hexagon, I think it's... It's either a big red thing or a big green thing, I don't remember what it is. I'm pretty sure it is a common boss in the Dragon Quest franchise, but you know. I can't think of what it is. See, so level five should be enough, but we will see. Here we go. Time to save it. Don't you remember if this is too long or not? Obviously, you know, I took my time there because, well, I needed to kind of, I guess. I don't think there are any encounters for now, is there? I don't remember, but don't know. Trap? Maybe not, that's just your first shield. So yeah, this is the first proper dungeon, really. Um, but you know. Lovely. So your phantom can equip four different types of weapons. Staffs, rods, swords, and I think spears. There's two types you can't, though. Anyway. Of course, I want to go this way first. Of course. Eighteen gold coins. I mean, I did waste a few of them, to be honest. And they do ignore the uh, bloody um, adverts at the top, but they've, even though, you know, I've been using DU, DU Recorder for nearly two years now, um, they've added a premium feature, and literally, it, the, um, the crop tool so I can crop off the top bit to get rid of the advertisement has now been made a premium feature. I should just automatically qualify as a premium member just for the fact that I've had it for nearly two years and I've been a very loyal uh, customer to him. I think, you know, hopefully you get what I mean. I think if people haven't had, if people only get the U Recorder recently or when, or they get it when it's already obviously been put in place, that is when they should have to pay for the premium features. I may not think it's fair, but that's the way things are anyway. Yeah, all these drackies. Not really too bad at this level, but you know, that's that's what I wanted. And uh, it may seem like it's overpowered, but it's not. Trust me, because the boss is going to be pretty beefy. Um, 
And plus, from level 5, that's when it starts to take longer to start leveling up. But they always like you to get, like, a big head start. Anyway, I'll face you just for the fact I haven't actually faced you yet. Anyway, what is it? Bag of laughs. Of course it is. He went first, and he dealt two damage. Of course, the slime attacks missed because it's a slime and it's pathetic. It's worthless. And now, the third, I don't remember if you get the beast area yet. I think you lose you get it in the misc section, but you know. Lovely. I don't remember if you, I don't think you ever get any save points in dungeons because it's only at the church. Is that just the way Dragon Quest games are? You know. Anyway, ooh, where do I want to go? Because it's already dungeons like this. Looks like you want to go right. I don't remember. It's been time since I played this one. Oh, look, it's a Shedinja. No, it's not really. A Mecha Minch. Ugh. How much is the Mecha Minch going to deal? Oh. I don't know. No. Shing. It seems like it doesn't have much HP, but you know. See, sometimes enemies don't attack. Sometimes they ready up something. Or they glare at you and get ready to do some attack of some sort, but you know. Um, I mean, I probably won't be using whips or fans. I mean, I think I'm going to put it towards a shield so I can get blocking spiel next. I'm guessing that's a German word for blocking. The mecha move chops chest chest. A feather fan. Phantom greedily grabs the loot. Is it anything to equip? I don't think it is, right? Oh, it is. Rubbish, anyway. Probably give that to someone else. But yeah, he, as you can see, he can equip fans. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 of course you give it an extra attack. You horrible, horrible game. Oh, I can one-shot it now, though. Oh, what they get? Cow pat. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's just what I want. A bit of crap in me bag. See, now I've opened that treasure chest. The enemies are like, no, no, no. You are not allowed to be greedy. Oh, can I go first, please? Oh, come on. Ching. Oh, they have 14. Bloody hell. That's annoying. Oh, no. Not good. This is not the best luck, but never mind. Oh! <laughs> Why can't you deal one more damage? Come on. You know you can. You know you got it in you to do. Oh, now you do 14. Insult to injury! What did I get this time? Strong medicine. So that's obviously for more HP, but you know. Something tells you don't want to go here. Yet. Nope. Well, you, oh, no, you want to be here, but anyway. What is this? Fire spirits. Goodbye. I mean, I'll probably just do uh, normal save states, because, you know, y'all. I guess the good thing with Dragon Quest, if you get fatally injured, you can try and get out without being in any battles. Um, I guess that's something you can do. But, you know. Another feather fan now, oh, lovely. So you either just get it as normal loot, or, yeah. Look at that. Three different battles, obviously. They all respawn into different locations after a while, but you know. Weird dance. Ah, oh, lovely. I've still got multiple of two in terms of MP, so it's fine. 14, you didn't die. That's a little crap. But I think sometimes they can have a different amount of HP. Uh, you can stop that now. Of course you do. A winkster. I'd rather get rid of you. I'll pack it in. I think he, well, Winkster can do magic, but you know. He just, he just doesn't want to use magic. But you know. Pshing! 
Look at that experience. It's lovely. Oh, yes, more cow pats. What do you actually get to do with that? Probably nothing, to be honest. Probably nothing. So yeah, sometimes you can get summons of enemies that you get like later on or something like that. Anyway, can you like not sap my MP away, please? Appreciate that. I'd rather you attack me, to be honest. Anyway, I think, do you only get three floors? I don't remember. I think you can just rush through, but because of the boss, probably not a good idea. That's all. I'll go on them. Strange, it doesn't even have that much health. But you know. Go on then, I'll face another one, might as well. Unless they're strong attackers, I have no idea. Running low on memory. What are you on about running low on memory? That's a load of crap. I don't know why it's doing that. I'll have to try and just get out of here. Not go there. I mean, it shouldn't be going through the internal storage. It should be going through that. I don't know, anyway. So you can't go this way, clearly. There's nothing, like, secret there at all. But anyway... That's annoying. Like I've, 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 I know I've been trying to download certain stuff because things are, are rather annoying. But bloody hell! Like, I mean, I tried to get Shining Force CD. Well, I got Shining Force CD. I downloaded many times. There's no emulator to do it on. Tried getting Final Fantasy VIII. It wouldn't actually even work on the emulator. Well, I tried to patch it, but it wouldn't work. Oh my god! It just wouldn't work. Um, just a heap of ball crap, basically. Um. But, you know, is it boss time? It might be boss time in an area like this. I don't know, though. I don't think you you really get bosses out of the blue. I think you have to, like, approach them to fight them. I don't really remember, though. But, you know. And I think it might it'll be in that area, I think. You know, it looks like most enemies are one-shottable anyway, which is good for just quickly slashing them down. It's interesting that you have to do this dungeon on your own, though, but, you know, coagulant. Isn't that medicine, kind of, coagulant? I think it is, right? Anyway, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hello, uh, my fellow phantom. How are you today? So you got yourself a nice little scythe. That's good to, uh, that's good to see. Did not level up. I mean, it would have been nice to level up before I uh, came in here, but, you know. I'll try and level up if I can. I don't know how, how far I've got. How much is the fire spirit going to do? Frizzle. Oh! Frizz is not a, an ability to laugh at. I tell you now. Get away, I'm not having you cast Frizz. Is it not over yet? Clearly not. Do you get to heal up beforehand? I don't think you do, do you? What's in here? Seed of Deafness. Anyway, can I actually have a look? I don't know. Phantom. XP 438. I mean, you're not even told. You're told the amount of XP you get, but you're not even told. It's probably 500 XP, probably 66 more XP to level up in a... This is definitely the boss area. It's got to be. It's got to be. Here she is. Oh my, I never expected to bump into anyone all the way down here. Hey, sweetie, you couldn't be a hero and shift some of this rubble for me, could you? I'm not badly hurt or anything, but I'm kind of stuck here, you know? I don't fancy being around when that beast comes back. Lift the rocks, trapping her legs. Yes, of course. 
Just remember what um, was said, the, the, what Ivor said, that it oh, possibly crumbling at any point. Oh, brother, it's back. Ah, it's a big red thing, yes. Well, red and green thing. I got trapped trying to run away from this guy and not looking where I was going. Watch your head, sweetie. Don't know how much I'll do on normal attack. I'll see. Psh, about the same. Psh. Nice try, mate. I mean, he could get a crit on me at any time. Remember that. So after this attack, I'll have to heal up. Because I mean, he could have got a crit then. Um, but you know. Brilliant. Oh, he dealt seven that time. Look at him, he's big boy. You can make rubble rain down from above, but it's just not gonna work, mate. There he goes. First boss defeated. There you go, I've unlocked Crack, and then you get Sizzle, and stuff like that as well, anyway. Let's get Blockenspiel, or Blockenspile, I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Awarded Phantom for earning his Grade 1 Shield Proficiency Certificate. Lovely. Magic Beast Hide, look at that, lovely. You're tougher than you look, thanks for saving my hide there, you're a doll. You know, I managed to shake myself free in all the chaos. She had no uh, side quests as of yet. So let's get out of here, huh? Being attacked by monsters is such a drag. Phew, we're safe now, I guess. You know, I'm not just a Dark Ruins kind of gal. I'm Patty, by the way. I run the inn over in Stornoy. And you are... Get out of here. You're from Angel Falls. Ah, that reminds me, I've got to get to Angel Falls right away. See you, sweetie, and thanks a bunch for your help. No problemo. I was a guardian, after all, you know. Still got to make it my duties. Wait, I mean, Phantom Phantom would be a guardian, a guardian over the dead. Make sure any naughty souls, you know, get reaped. I mean, is there any point even doing any of these battles at the moment? I mean, like, I think mean, there is. I mean, on a pretty high level, level 8, I mean, they expect it to be quite that high. I mean, just look at that, you know. Anyway. Do, 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 do. What a relief. Our guardian must have heard my prayers for her after all. Truth be told, I've not been able to hear our guardian's voice since the earthquake. I'm starting to worry that the earthquake may have caused untold damage in the realm of the guardians too. But I'm worrying over nothing, of course. Such a thing could never happen. Yeah, it could never happen. Anyway, you eventually do get side quests and I think you get like a pink indication. Pink exclamation mark over them. But anyway, first, of course, I'll do this. Uh-huh, this is Edwin's place, alright. No one else knew how to do it quite like he did, the original host with the most. Did you know my father then? Oh, you must be Patty. Is he going to stop? Can't tell. Bear with me. Right, so I'll try this again to end the episode by doing this. I, I don't know why it, it came up with that message earlier about that or storage thing. It shouldn't be a problem because this should be going through the SD card that I've got 16 gigabytes in. Oh, I don't know, anyway. Oh, you must be Patty. I was so... Had gone missing on the way here. Yep, that's me, honey. You were worried? Oh, that's sweet. And I can't believe you remembered my name. You were so tiny. So, where's old Edward Hyndin, huh? Ah, uh, I thought you were probably coming to see him. I'm afraid that he's no longer with us. It was two years ago now. No longer with us? You mean he passed away? Sadly, yes. Wow, I, I can't believe it incredible.
That's G. What does that mean for my old inn, then? I guess if Edwin's gone, that means you're running this place all on your own, huh? Um, well, yes. It's not the biggest inn in the world, but it's so quaint. I bet the guests here feel more welcome than in their own homes. That's very kind of you. I try my best to honour my father's memory by keeping the place running smoothly. Hey, I wouldn't expect anything else from the daughter of the incredible entertainer, honey. Um, about this incredible thing, yeah, it's she. Pat is one of those characters. That, let's just put it that way. Hey, I don't suppose you want to give running an in, in Stormway a shot, do you? Um, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Phantoms is there. So when Dad was in Stormway, people used to call him the Incredible Entertainer. You better believe it, honey. He was the best of the best. I'm going to keep on saving it gradually for now because I don't know what's going on with it. He was only a young guy back from scratch and totally put his rivals out of business. Goodness, I can't imagine him being like that. He always seemed so unadventurous to me, and he said he was happy to run even the smallest of inns as long as we were together. Yeah, that's the funny thing. Why would a guy like Edwin choose to ship out to a hick town like this? Well, I guess that's water under the bridge. The thing is, his old place in Stormway is in real trouble right now. We were all kind of hoping that the incredible entertainer would make a comeback and get things on track again. I just can't believe I didn't know he died two whole years ago. I mean, gee, I'm so sorry, honey. Not at all. I'm just sorry that you came all this way for nothing. Hey, no apology needed. I mean, I got to meet you instead, right? You're coming back with me to Stormway? Um, I'm afraid I don't think that's possible. I have my hands full with this place as it is. And I just find it hard to believe that Dad was some kind of legendary innkeeper. Hard to believe? You can't argue with the facts, honey. And I can see you're a chip off the old block too. I've got a knack for seeing people's strength, you know. Oh dear, it's getting late and I really need to get started on supper. You have to excuse me. And please, I can't go to Stormway with you. Just stop trying to talk me into it. A stubborn one, huh? Don't worry, Squeezy. You'll get sense. You'll see sense before long. Hey, yeah, I thought I recognised you. You're the guy who helped me out back at the ruins, right? Thanks again for that. You know, while you're in a helping mood, honey, you can try to twist Erin's arm, could you? I can't let that kind of talent go to waste. It'll be good for her too, you know. So I'll do this, and as I said, I think you start getting side quests once this is done, um, but you know. So yes, we are now on the way. Stories, you know, getting nice and beefed up. Erin passed by just now, and she was acting really odd. I wonder what's going on. No, hey, that patty woman's trying to recruit her. Surely Erin will be here and going to live in Stormway. Oh, that would break your heart, wouldn't it, Ivor? Heaven to see your precious, the precious one you love, do that. Oh. What a shame. But I mean, you can already tell that Erin's got the hots for Phantom. But anyway. Here's that ghost again. Wow. You gave me a fright. Don't do that again, will you? Wait a minute, you can see me, but I'm dead. I had a feeling that you saw me back at the Hexagon too. That's quite a strange talent you've got there. Sorry, I haven't introduced myself, have I? I'm Erin's father, Edwin. I fell ill two years ago and died suddenly. But as you can see, I still haven't managed to leave this mortal realm entirely. And you are... Ah, Phantom. Really? Really? But Phantom, isn't that... Aren't you the village guardian? Hey, hang on a minute. Ouch. Oi, watch where you're flapping standing. Maybe skinny as a rake, but I still need a bit of room for manoeuvres. Never mind, I forgive you. Now, old man, what was that rubbish you were just sprouting? I, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. You were on about Celestians, right? I wondered the same thing at first, but this mess of a minstrel hardly foots the bill. I don't see a halo, do you? And I don't see any wings either. Bit odd for a Celestian, that, wouldn't you say? I suppose you're right, though. While we're on the subject of odd, who and what are you? How, wouldn't you like to know? Yes, I suppose you would. Then I'd better introduce myself. Wait for it, I am the supreme, stupendous, stellar, stunning skipper of the sky-soaring Starfly Express. Ta-da! Uh, I see. Right time. Right then, your turn. Trying to fly your true colours and tell us who you really are. You look like a regular mortal to me, so how come you see the Starlight, Starfly Express and ghost like this, old bloke? 
<laughs> okay, so you fell off the observatory during the earthquake. Right. When you came around to your senses, you were in this village with your rings and your halo missing. Sounds like a bit of a tall yarn, if you ask me. If you lost your wings and your halo, how is it that you can still see ghosts and the like? A bit neither here nor there, isn't it? I know, if you're a celestial, then prove it. Send someone's spirit up to the heavens. You've got nothing to lose, and this old bloke here just happens to be in need of a shove in the righteous direction. Wait, are you talking about me? I'm not exactly happy as I am, but... Let me guess, you're only a ghost because you've got some kind of unfinished business to put to sleep, right? Alright then, help this spook here tie up his loose ends and then send him on his way. Then I'll believe that you're a Celestrian. And I might even give you a lift back to the observatory on the old Star Flight Express. Can't say fairier than that. <laughs> what a joker. So I'll tag along with you for a while until the job's done. Oh yeah, while we're at it, I should probably warn you that I'll be keeping tags on you while I'm tabbing along. Just press the X button and select Battle Records to press Select and you'll be able to see the glo all the glory details. Have a look if you've got a minute. What am I saying? Have a look. I'll have your guts for a really grisly set of garters. The Battle Records screen is now accessible in the main. So, yep, I think you get to see the beastie area as well. Um... So, like I said, I'll be keeping a peeled eye on your progress. And nothing at all down here, so make the most of it, okay? View all monsters. So Slime, Teeny Sanguini, Butterfly, Bodkin Archer, Mechamina, Spirit, Winkster, Fire Spirit, Bagalov, Draki, Saxwatch, Cruel Cumber. And no others yet. However, there's the Hexagoon. Hideous hulk that once prowled the passages of the hexagon, preying on travellers, the earth shakes with its every step. And obviously you've got the family, so you've got the slime, bug, material, demon, aquatic, the question mark, question mark, question mark family. I think you get two of the, two, you get like a dungeon in, in a bit with two bosses in a row. Well, not in a row, but in the same dungeon, and they belong to this family. Um, you, know, you, get, you obviously eventually get like zombies and stuff. Um, but yes, anyway, that marks the end of this episode of my playthrough of Dragon Quest IX Sentinels of the Starry Skies. So, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you tomorrow for the continuation of Final Fantasy VII and the continuation of this on Friday alongside Final Fantasy VII. But until then, with a massive thumbs up, all I'm going to say to you now is goodbye and good night.